Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft and our TBC Rogue playthrough. As you can see, I went out to Zoramgar and I grabbed the chest piece upgrade that we got at the for the quest that we completed last time, defeating the chieftain and getting his totem. So yeah, we're looking good. We got seven agility and six stamina on this one, so pretty big upgrade. You'll probably notice that I am in a group. Uh, trying to put together a BFD run. Uh, I have two DPS right now, so I decided to kind of uh, try to put this together myself because I complain enough about there not being groups that I felt like maybe I should take a more active role in my own destiny and try to put groups together uh, more often, which is something I do sometimes, but other times, especially as a DPS, I kind of tend to be more passive about finding groups. But it doesn't seem like... Uh, being passive is going to get us into many of these dungeons, so trying to be more proactive. But as you can imagine, it's pretty hard to find a tank and a healer for a run. It always just looks a little bit desperate when somebody needs tank and heals. And yeah, not a lot of interest currently. But I'm trying, so we're going to find out if this can actually happen. It would be great. We are already in the zone, so we can just run over there and summon. With the help of one more. And yeah, we're working our way back to this cave today. We're going to go free rule and look for our troll charms as well. So that is the plan. If we do manage to put this run together, I'll be putting the dungeon into a separate video, which is what I usually do. I'd like to say that I was hopeful, but uh, I, I'm not incredibly hopeful. Just because we've already kind of identified that there's a big lack of tanks. Pretty dire lack of tanks. I guess I should put something in the... in looking for group here, so let's put us in here. That would be the smart thing to do. There we go, now we are officially out there in case I miss somebody in here. And I will also keep spamming. Uh, which way are we going? I think we're going to hang a left here and head this way. I was kind of hoping that after a while this warrior might decide that he wanted to try his hand at tanking, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, yeah, I think this is the entrance to the cave and then we're going to be getting back to the objectives here that we can see on the mini-map. I don't know how many of these guys I want to fight going in because we're going to have to fight them on the way out to do the escort quest, so I think I'm just going to continue to use stealth here, which is something that I rarely do. I uh, probably could take advantage of it a lot more often, but we'll, we'll do that here. Oh, well, we don't want to get that close, I don't think. Yeah, there's... Not much historical record for us being sneaky. Uh, well, we do want some of these items though, don't we? I guess this one was down and tucked away in the corner and it, not up top here. Um, well, maybe. 
Maybe not. Yeah, maybe it is up top. Do we want to get all of our objectives before we decide to free him? Would probably be a good idea to at least get a couple of them so that we don't have to worry about getting them all as we do the escort quest. We'll have a couple of them completed. That would probably be a good idea. Oh, we can sprint in stealth. It doesn't break stealth and it does increase our movement speed a little bit. I'm kind of like, I just want to see one of these to see what it looks like, unless, do they drop them? No, it doesn't say that they drop them. It seems like it's supposed to be an item that we're picking up off the ground, but... Um, maybe I'm just being blind right now, but I have not seen one. Oh, here they are, okay. They're the little chest, like from the Ghostlands troll areas. Okay, yeah, I see, I see a couple now. I guess I was just looking right where the icons were, but I guess those are like possible spawn points and not definite spawn points. Oh yeah, I guess they will see us when we go to collect these. Oh, you guys were also letting me know that if I wanted to, I could put instant poison on both of my weapons. And I did not really think about that. For some reason, I thought to myself that we could only have one active on one weapon like we couldn't double up but yeah that might be a good idea i like crippling poison because it, it does tend to proc and it stops runners like this guy here but maybe when our poisons wear off uh, maybe we'll all consider doing instant on on both of them or maybe at least next time we resupply because we don't have a lot of actual supplies right now as far as poison making goes uh, i guess for now we can just fight through these guys a little bit since we're going to have to keep on stealthing to collect the boxes anyway. Yeah, we need quite a few. Are there any up here? There is one. We might be able to get into the corner and nab it without this guy even noticing us, potentially. We do this. Oh uh, no, he definitely sees us. No healing for you, please. Oop. Yep, just DPS, like, like usual. Okay, well now that we know what we're looking for, that makes it uh, a bit easier. I do see one up here. So in this case, it was really just a, a case of me being blind. I don't really know where this guy is going to be held captive. I think it's just back here down this main hallway. Maybe we cross over this bridge up here and we go collect a few more of these boxes before we try to go free him. I just don't know how many we're going to find in his little back room. And other than that, we'll be relying on respawns uh, if we don't grab a bunch from up here. Uh, what's going to happen here? Maybe we need to consider sapping one of these guys. Just in case. Uh, we can't use two hand axes, but okay.
Yeah, see, like right here, I feel like we get quite a bit of use out of crippling poisons, so I, I might just keep that. Maybe in dungeons we go we go double instant poison for the pure DPS because we're not worried about runners as much in a dungeon. Well, I mean, there is something to be said for maybe, you know, maybe we are sometimes worried about runners. Uh, where do we want to go next? I see one over here. I actually had kind of forgotten that we can use backstab again because we're, we don't have swords equipped. Uh, because for a while, uh, we had swords. And you can only backstab... Uh, with a dagger in the main hand. So yeah, I, I could have been using backstab a lot more in Shadow Fang Keep to kind of open up with a big burst of damage. And that is definitely something that you guys let me know that I'll be doing more in the future. Let me come back here and grab this one, and then we'll be at seven. See, I, I feel like the slow really does help us sometimes. Alright, uh, let's heal a little bit, and a little bit is all we're going to be able to heal with one of these bandages. Because they're not healing for a lot. And I have to believe that we'll come across at least one more um, while we journey to find this guy and whilst escorting him out. Uh, we aggroed something and I think I'm going to keep running because I'm, I'm kind of worried. Let's see if we can chain it and, or leash it rather and get out of combat here. I'd love to get out of combat. Oh yeah, it would have been nice to... Man, I would have probably taken a warlock over a warrior for sure. Well... Oh well, either way it would not have helped us find a tank. Here we go, here's our last one. Very convenient. I like it. Who are you? You're no Furbolg. They are cursed. They thought I was a bear and captured me, and now they starve me. My strength is failing. Help me escape, then speak with my sp sister Yama at the Splinter Tree Post to the east. Uh, if you don't get a tank, let me know. Who are you? And you should know, if you are a tank, that I'm probably never going to get a tank. You are a level 26 Blood Elf Paladin. That's like a, a needlessly ambiguous thing to say. Did this guy start the quest, or did we, did we get it? I wasn't paying attention because we got we got that whisper. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, freedom to rule. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 ambiguous because I mean, do you want to do the dungeon or don't you? Because yeah, we clearly need a tank. Um. Oh, hi there. No healing for you, please.
I don't remember exactly how far we have to escort this guy, but I feel like it's going to be further than just right outside of the cave here. But we're about to find out. And then the other issue is, you know, not only have we not found a tank, we're, we're also kind of like overlooking the fact that we haven't found a healer either. And that at the moment they, they seem equally hard to find. And we can't do the dungeon with one and not the other, so uh, just having a tank does not necessarily get this going. Unfortunately. Uh, we should probably bandage up a little bit here if we can. At what point do I let Rex know um, that we can't find a tank? Uh, <laughs> do I have to like convince him to do the dungeon? I don't... It's not really why I'm here. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen a single healer in the queue, though. I mean, sometimes you can find healers, but yeah, today, tonight, it's a Sunday, it's 8.30, so that's kind of prime time. It's still sort of the weekend. He got involved in that from a long way off. Yeah, I think all we have to do is get to the magnifying glass here, and then that should be it. Alright, there we go. Oh, he shapeshifted out of his, uh, bear form. Thank you for freeing me. Speak with my sister in Splinter Tree. I must find a place to rest. Well, don't rest anywhere around here, man. Like, you're just going to get yourself captured again, and then the next guy is going to have to free you, and then we're just going to be stuck in this endless loop. So let's not do that again. I think what I'm going to do is, instead of just running it, I am going to hearth back to Splinter Tree. Uh, we could talk to his sister, and then we could fly back out to Zorum uh, Strand to turn in Troll Charms. Sounds like a good plan. And we'll also vendor some stuff here as well. You found my brother. He was captured by the Thistlefurs? That is terrible news to hear, for although many Furbolg are noble creatures, the Thistlefurs are corrupt. Thank you for rescuing my brother. I do not want to think of how they treated poor Rule. He will likely sleep long after this ordeal. He'll sleep until the Cataclysm, I would say. Be careful. Probably I'll till the Cataclysm. Yeah, we have a bunch of items in our inventory, but a lot of this stuff is, is quest items. We are going to buy some next level food. Uh, the weapons we don't need. The flash powder we need. These are all reagents and stuff that we do need. A lot of the stuff down here is quest items. Lots and lots of quest items. I need to get us up to 90 so I can learn this and get it out of our inventory. We're not doing the pages quest so that I can go. Let's do something like this, and rearrange a few things here. 
We're getting silk now and we haven't learned uh, heavy wool yet, so I should probably get onto Wowhead and find out where I'm going to get that from. If I can just get it from a trainer, that's great, but I feel like hole. we probably have to find a book. Oh, yeah, the food. We didn't get the food, guys. Glory to the horn. Looks like we're going with Wild Hog Shank, level 25. Uh, we'll do that. The bandages are not really useful right now, so we'll slide those up here. Be safe. Okay, now we can get on a flight and get ourselves back over to Zoramgar. And uh, unfortunately, we might be flying right back because uh, unless they give us something else to do right in the area, or unless we find a group like Pronto, we're going to be coming back over here to take care of some stuff nearby. Maybe I can hold off on turning this in. Yeah, probably not a big rush on that. Let's come down here and let's at least take care of the Ashenvale Outrunners. And get that one done. We can do that. We don't have to fly out there right now. Uh, I, could, I could whisper this guy back and see if he's interested in tanking the dungeon or not and get like a definitive answer because at this point it's probably going to be impossible to find a healer even if we have a tank. I'll be up front. Yeah, I don't know. Oh wait, did that not... Is he not online? Yeah, I guess. I guess that's an answer. It's a pretty big answer. Guess I missed a window of opportunity there, but I doubt it. Keep, we'll keep trying while we do these quests. Uh, there's no harm in trying. It's, I don't know if it's a little annoying to see me like stop and type in it into in the chat or not. Probably, but let me know. I kind of, Sometimes I like for you guys to see the process. I, I, I often talk a lot about trying to find groups and how it doesn't often work out, but I feel like if I just talk about that and I never demonstrate it, then, you know, you're not exactly getting the experience of it. And I think sometimes even though you, like, take somebody's word, it's also easy to say, oh, you know, maybe you're not trying. Are you putting the group together yourself? How much effort are you putting into it? So... This is me being transparent about that stuff, is like, even when I try to put the group together myself, uh, which is... It just has challenges when you're not a tank or a healer, because at least when you're a tank or a healer, you know you've already checked that box for the group, and you then you concern yourself with everything else. Uh, but when you try to form up as a group, as a DPS class, it's, you know, this is what it is. Uh, okay, these guys are friendly to us, I'm trying to figure out where this quest is at. Oh, hi. Is this an underground thing that I'm looking at, or...? Hmm. Bring a sharp talon's claw to Sanai Thunderheart at Splinter Tree Post. So this just must be like a, a random creature that we can find somewhere in the area sometimes. Okay, uh, level 30, we won't be doing that right now. And if it's an elite, we won't be able to take it without a group. Oh, this is working out for us. So wander around here and just get sneak attacked by these outriders. Outrunners, even. I'm getting the feeling that they like to hang out kind of by the trees and stuff. Yeah. She's running off to try to get like a range on us. That's interesting. Didn't really work out for her, but she, yeah, she's definitely still doing it. I get really interested when mobs have behavior like that. It's so seldom when they'll... There were some casters like that, I think, in Alterac Mountains that would either blink away or run away and, and start casting again from a distance. And it was really interesting because it causes problems like then you don't know, you know, usually you predict when they're low on health they're going to run. But if they can run at any point, uh, it really makes it a lot more challenging to stop them from pulling ads. 
So yeah, here's Sharp Talon. Uh, he is, he does come right through this area, like it says. But he is level 31, and we are going to give him a wide berth here. And just make sure we don't aggro him, because we do not want any of Sharp Talon right now. The good thing is that he's not an elite, so, you know, once we are level 29 to 31, we will be able to take him out. Um, with relative ease, I would assume. Yes, we just wait to hear the knocking of a bow. Seems like we're kind of leaving the area, but I, I think I'm going to come over here and also check out Torex Assault. And if we can get this done, then we can cut back through here on the way back and get the rest of the outrunners that we need. When I did this in Classic Vanilla, um, I did it on the on our Priest, I think it was. I, I don't know. I guess I don't remember what character it was, but it was kind of a challenge. Oh, Torex not here right now. Guys, Torek's not here right now. He's probably off doing his quest with another player. And he'll be back in 7 to 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. Here he is. Look at that. Okay. Blood and thunder. My raiders and I are about to attack the Silverwing outpost to the west. Our target is its leader, Duriel Moonfire. Scouts report the outpost is defended heavily with sentinels and warriors. The battle will be glorious. Do you want to share in the glory to, and aid us? If so, then when it's over, you can report our success to my superior Etrog Rage Tusk in Splinter Tree. Farewell. All right, let's see how this goes. For the horde. Uh, I didn't expect him to shoot off in this direction, but yeah, we're gonna go this way. Oh, okay, I see. There's a little trail here. He's running a little fast. I, I want to catch up here. Yeah, I re what I vaguely remember is that I think the respawn rate was tuned too high, so we were we were taking them out, but the NPCs were getting killed, and then they started respawning on top of that, and it just made it kind of impossible. Or maybe it was like getting the NPCs to help us. Maybe that's what it was, yeah. It could be getting the NPCs to help us is a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe we gotta let them kind of take the lead a little bit. Because they tend to let us uh, fend for ourselves if we've aggroed a couple. It takes them a minute to catch on that we're in, in battle. Oh yeah, see, they look at that. Like, they were right there and the, and the uh, enemy ignored them and went for us initially. Yeah, I don't think we want to let Torek die. I think he has to live. We could go stealth and get some backstabs going, that's true. It was something that would happen in, in this back room that was screwing me up when I did it before. Everything seems fine right now. Oh yeah, see a bunch of them spawn in this room. Okay, so that's fine. They're all they're all engaging here. We should be able to handle this all right. Maybe we get some uh, health bars going so we can see exactly what's happening.
for the horde! All right, there we go. Silverwing is ours. Go report to the uh, that the outpost is taken. We will remain here. Uh, you will remain here for about the next 45 seconds, and then you will all vanish and reset, because... No phasing. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool like a world where they did remain here in our phase and they set up like a little shop here? Maybe a couple of them became quest givers. How cool would that kind of stuff be? Imagine that. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, I thought that was going to be an actual book, but it's not. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go back over here to the east and we will see about getting the rest of our outrunners. I'm glad that went smoothly this time. That was actually kind of fun. I wonder if, like, as a warrior who sits in a group as a DPS for this long, does any part of you think, man, maybe I wanna, maybe I do wanna learn to tank. I don't know, it's like, just throw your hat in the ring. It's hard for tanks out there, though, especially when they're new, people have a lot of expectations about tanks knowing the routes and stuff like that. Uh, when we did our Season of Mastery tank, uh, when we got into the later la dungeons, like, I didn't know any of them, and I would just be up front with the groups right away. Just tell them that I wasn't familiar with the dungeon, that somebody could point the way, and then I would pull. And that seemed to be fine. Pally tank there, look at that. Okay, we're gonna take care of this guy. A little clicking, a little click action going on. Okay, so now the, the other challenging part is that we need to find a healer. We haven't attracted a healer yet, but maybe now that we have a tank, maybe that will attract a, a would-be healer. Do I need to go into here and change this to heals with one S preferably, update that. Willing to heal. <laughs> well. We can give it a shot, you know. Look at that. It took a while, it took about a half hour, but it's uh, it's coming together. And I guess that's going to leave it for us to kind of head that way. Let's work our way back to town pretty quickly here. I do want to see if maybe we can get a couple of these outrunners on the way, but I'm not going to push too hard to use this time to do that. But if it happens, that'd be nice. Okay, we've uh, we've we've got a couple here that have aggroed us. Let's let's do some evasion to kind of stay alive here. It'd be embarrassing to say we're gonna head for the stone and then immediately get killed, but that could happen. It could happen. We're gonna potion up. Yeah, these guys are level twenty four, which is uh, no joke. All right, let's come back over here quickly, quickly, if we can find this person. They are very far away. That's not good. All right, we do need to eat really quick. And yeah, if we could find one more, that'd be great. I, I think we can. I don't think the minute and a half it's going to take us to find one more is going to put anybody out too much. And we do have to make our way back and it's like, it's very likely that we're going to run into some opposition anyway. Because we can't hearth back, that's still on cooldown, so. Here we go. Here is our lucky number nine.
Okay, now we will basically ignore anything else that we aggro. We're just going to try to get back as quick as possible. And we will... We'll, we're going to swing over here and turn this in. And then we'll turn in uh, Torx report. And then we'll catch a flight. You are getting ignored. She's probably going to stand back and take shots at us still. Oh no, she dropped. Do we have anybody else even remotely close? Okay, we have uh, cinnamon sticks down here. So we're going to have uh, the tank is a paladin, shaman healer, and then our warrior and hunter. Alright, should be decent. Should be a decent run. I haven't done BFD in a while. I don't really remember the last character I did it on. Hmm. Might have been the Night Elf Warrior all the way back when uh, Classic first launched. Could have been. One-handed sword, 12.3 DPS. No, that's uh, not even close to anything that we've got going on. I'm going to take the staff to sell it. For the and yeah, there we go. We are almost level 26. I need to do a couple of smart things here before I go out to this dungeon run. But I think, uh, yeah, I think we're going to do a little bit more on this episode. Maybe I really don't know how long this has been. So potentially we can uh, come down here and do this next. But yeah, the uh, dungeon video will be up in a separate video. So if you're interested, keep an eye out for that.